In physics, the word dimension has a specific meaning. Dimensions are physical quantities that can be measured in some way. Examples of base dimensions include length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, luminous intensity, and amount of substance. These dimensions can have any unit. So for example, length can be measured in units of meters or feet or fathoms or any other unit. Whatever unit is chosen, we still say that it's a dimension of length. In classical mechanics, we will only deal with the dimensions of length, mass and time, which we can represent as capitalized L, M and T respectively. So what is dimensional analysis? Dimensional analysis is simply a procedure used to test the validity of an equation or to help us derive new equations. So this question states, show that the expression V equals AT is dimensionally correct, where V represents velocity, A acceleration, and T an instant of time. So our goal here is to show that terms on both sides of the equation have the same dimensions. If we choose to use the International System of Units or the SI units, velocity has units of meters per second. Although the choice in unit in dimensional analysis doesn't matter, we could quite easily express velocity as miles per hour. The point to notice here is that the velocity can be expressed dimensionally as a length over time. And to find the dimensions of acceleration, we follow a similar process. Acceleration has dimensions of meters per second squared, and this is expressed as length over time squared. The instance of time has dimensions of time, t. If we now plug these dimensions into the expression v equals a t, we can see if they balance on each side of the equation. On the right hand side of the equation, we can cancel out t in the numerator and one of the t's in the t squared in the denominator. We end up with dimensions that are equal on both sides of the equation. In other words, the expression v equals a t is dimensionally correct. We are told that the acceleration a of a particle moving with uniform speed v in a circle of radius r is proportional to some power of r, say r to the power of n, and some power of v, say v to the power of m. Determine the values of n and m and write the simplest form of an equation for the acceleration. Let's first write acceleration as a proportional to r to the power of n times v to the power of m. We can rewrite this with a constant of proportionality. From the last question, we found that the dimensions of velocity and acceleration can be expressed as velocity equals length over time and acceleration is length over time squared. The radius here simply has a dimension of length. So let's express both sides of our equation above in terms of dimensions of length and time. So if we expand out the bracket first, we can express each dimension of either a power of n or m. If you've watched my powers, roots and laws of indices videos, which you can see in the card on the top right hand corner, when multiplying two numbers with the same base, their powers are added. You can see this in the example below. Here we can find the values of n and m simply because the dimensions have to balance on both sides of the equation. So if we rearrange equation 1 to make n the subject, we can plug in the value of m to find the value of n. And now we can place the powers back into the first equation. 